Hello Internet. Everyone is collectively creating the existence that we live in together. And in my mind, there's three options that you can choose into how you can do this. You can either build a world for yourself, you can build a world for somebody else, or you can build a world for a community. It's not so cut and dry. There's overlap between all these things that I wanted to discuss today because I think a lot of people that think that they're trapped actually have more power than they think that they do. And I think that a lot of people that think that they have power in this world are actually creating an existence and benefit benefiting other people besides themselves. So let's get into it. So first of all, if you have a job, you are inherently creating a reality for somebody else. Whoever owns the company, runs the company, benefits from your labor. Your work is creating their reality. It's making their world better because you are providing them labor. But having a job is not inherently bad and having a job can actually assist you in creating your own reality. For example, let's say I'm trying to build a house, right? I'm gonna build my house completely on my own, literally by myself. I don't know how that would be possible, but. I myself am going to build a house. Even if I do all of the labor in creating it, somebody has to make the lumber, somebody has to make the windows, somebody has to make the siding, somebody has to do the foundation. Unless I am some oligarch billionaire that owns all of these companies, somebody else is gonna be benefiting from me building my house. The concrete company that provides me the concrete to build my foundation, they're gonna benefit because I'm gonna, in theory, provide them money for their services. But those services are gonna benefit me in building my house, which is my ultimate goal. Same thing with the lumber or the sheetrock, you know, putting up the walls in the house. Unless I am going into the woods, chopping down trees, creating my own lumber or creating my own sheetrock from scratch, I'm gonna need another person or company to provide that for me, even if I am the one physically building the house. So the sheetrock company, the lumber people, they're going to benefit from me building my house as well. So to put this into terms that make more sense for like everyday life of average people, if you have a job, your job is providing you the ability to survive, but that's the bare minimum. That's not really you building your own life, right? That's just you getting by in this world that you had no say in participating in. You just, it's just random spawn. This is where you ended up, right? But you can use some of the funds that you make from your job to benefit your own life. For example, I've mentioned this in a previous video, but all all of the music equipment that you see in the background of my videos, it's stuff that I bought from my job. Me making music is a huge part of me creating the reality that I want for myself. Even this webcam, I got a new webcam. It's pretty nice. It's still a webcam, but it's pretty nice. It's actually an AI tracking webcam. I have it turned off right now. But me creating my own world, a huge part of that is making YouTube videos. So having this new webcam is a big way that I'm going to I'm gonna be able to benefit from having my job in creating my own world. I think everybody is a culprit of this to some degree, but there are people that think income directly translates to your cost of living. So basically living like right at the edge of your means. Is that really benefiting your life? Because you're not building towards anything necessarily. You're just elevating your lifestyle to match your income. You're not really creating your own reality in that way, are you? You're just participating in a reality that was already created and you are using your money to participate in another person's reality. You're not really building anything for yourself. So, you know, a lot of these financial gurus and stuff, like, sure, they talk about like owning businesses and stocks and all that stuff, but a lot of it really comes down to just having nice stuff, having a nice car, having a nice house, having expensive clothes, expensive jewelry, like dedicating the money that you make from a job to things like that. It's not really creating your own reality. You're not really building anything for yourself. You're just using the money that you have to help other people. You're benefiting the car company. You're benefiting, you know, the clothing brands, all that kind of stuff. And you could say that it's like making your life more enjoyable. But at the end of the day, you're not doing anything for yourself by owning those things. Besides like enjoying your life a little more. You can enjoy your life for free. You can enjoy your life for much less money than owning a McLaren. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that people shouldn't buy these things. I'm just saying, oh, I'm AI tracking now. Oh, I did it on accident. <laughs> I'm just saying that I, I don't think enough people focus on the concept of creating their own reality. And I think too many people are caught up in other people's reality. And a huge part of this as well is social media. So many people are focused on other people's lives and what other people are doing because they're just so engaged on social media every day. They're following stories of other people. They're following the lives of other people and they're wasting their resources in this case, which is time. They're dedicating their time to learning about other people. And this is not benefiting them in any way. It's benefiting the other person that you're learning about because the attention that they get brings them revenue, especially if they're on social media. Just because you think you have the freedom to make choices in your daily life, that doesn't mean that you are creating your own reality. It doesn't mean that you are living the life that you really want to live. Clearly, that's not the case because there's so many people that are unhappy. Like they have all these things, but they're still unhappy. It's because they're not living the life that they truly want to live. They're living a life based on other people's decisions and not their own. So obviously there's... 
like I said in the beginning, there's overlap between all of these things, you know, like make sure that you are harnessing the power that you have for yourself before you are completely prioritizing other people. If you have a job and you need to make money to pay rent and all that stuff. Yeah, you're going to be benefiting your job by providing them labor. But, you know, try to build stuff for yourself. Like if you're an artist, make sure that you're dedicating some of your money that you make to getting art supplies so that you can make art, whatever that is for you. You know, like make sure that you're saving some money to put aside if you want to travel. Like let's say like your dream in life is to travel. If you have a job and you're getting by, you can slowly save money and travel. Like that is possible to do. Just try to make sure that you're not living your life completely for other people. There are ways that you can not be fully independent in life and still benefit yourself and create your own reality. Because at the end of the day, like I said, we are all creating reality together. We are all deciding what reality is constantly at the same time. There's nothing wrong with you wanting to enjoy your life. There's nothing wrong with you wanting to build something for yourself. You don't have to live at the whim of other people forever. I know that's what it seems like is the case in this world, but it's not. They want you to think that so that you don't even try to do anything else. And it doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to start an LLC. You don't have to like open a business. You can just do things that you want to do that are creating the life that you want to live for yourself. That's really all I wanted to say for this video. Hope you get a little inspiration out of this and I'll see you next week.